The future is approaching, and it will arrive sooner than you think. It's difficult to predict where technology will go in the future, but by looking at where we are today, we can make educated guesses about where we might be in the next 20 years. Welcome to Tech Heaven, and in this video we'll take a look at 10 amazing inventions that we are likely to see by 2040 that will revolutionize the way we think about technology. Number 10. Organ Printing 3D printing is already making inroads into the medical profession, although it is now limited to implanted devices and replacement hips and knees. Between now and 2040, 3D printing may enable doctors to construct transplanted organs on the fly, using the patient's own cells. There is no risk of organ rejection because the patient's own cells are used, eliminating the need for immunosuppressive rejection medication. In 2019, researchers are attempting to develop 3D printed blood vessels. By 2040, this technology may be able to compensate for a dearth of organ donors, potentially saving up to 21 individuals every day. Number 9. Brain Computer Interface Elon Musk and Facebook are both working on a brain machine interface. The idea is to make things like social media and internet browsing hands free. It may even be able to help individuals with neurological disabilities communicate by studying their brain activity in real time. Both systems now require brain surgery to function, with electrodes surgically placed to read brainwave activity. Instead of using a drill, Elon Musk's Neuralink hopes to employ a robot with a laser beam to go through the skull. The technology is nearly ready, but if brain surgery is required, not many people will join up. By 2040, brainwave detection technology will most likely have advanced to the point where a brain-computer interface will be achieved without requiring surgery. Number 8. The End of Moore's Law Intel's co-founder recognized a trend in 1965. The number of transistors in an integrated circuit would be double every 18 months or so. According to Moore's law, scientists will have to construct circuits smaller than a single hydrogen atom by 2050. Moore's law, according to industry experts, will stop between 2020 and 2040, but it will not halt abruptly. It will gradually fade away until it no longer applies. Researchers working on quantum computing developed the first single atom transistor in 2018 by suspending one atom in a gel electrolyte. By 2040, quantum computers will be more ubiquitous and may even replace today's transistor-based computers. Many disruptive technology experts anticipate that once Moore's law comes to an end, these computers will become common equipment within the next 20 years. Number 7. Electric vehicles become the majority. Electric vehicles are a bit of a fad right now, but if you don't buy one in the next 20 years, you'll be an oddity. By 2040, electric vehicles will account for 57% of new passenger vehicles. Manufacturers sold 2 million electric vehicles in 2018. The same manufacturers are predicted to sell 56 million units by 2040. In the same time frame, they estimate gasoline and diesel automobile sales to fall from 85 million to 42 million worldwide. Number 6. Digital Twins That Track Your Health Humans can stroll into the medbay in Star Trek, where many of our ideas for future technology were conceived, and have their complete body digitally examined for indicators of illness and injury. Doing so in real life, according to the creators of QBio, would enhance health outcomes while also reducing the burden on doctors. The US company has developed a scanner that can measure hundreds of biomarkers in less than an hour, ranging from hormone levels to fat accumulation in the liver to markers of inflammation or any number of cancers. It plans to use this information to create a 3D digital avatar of a patient's body, known as a digital twin, which can be followed throughout time and updated with each new scan. QBio CEO Jeff Keditz expects it will usher in a new era of preventative personalized care in which the massive volumes of data collected not only assist doctors in prioritizing which patients need to be seen most immediately, but also in developing more sophisticated methods of diagnosing illness. Here is a link to an interview with him. Number 5. Green Funerals 
Individuals confronted with the realities of the climate catastrophe are prioritizing sustainable living, but what about eco-friendly dying? Death is typically a carbon-intensive process, leaving us with one last imprint on the environment. According to reports, the average cremation emits 400 kilograms of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So, what's a more environmentally friendly option? You may be composting instead in Washington State, USA. Bodies are placed in chambers filled with bark, soil, straw and other natural decomposers. Your body is reduced to soil in 30 days and can be restored to a garden or woodland. The company behind the procedure, Recompose, claims it consumes one-eighth of the carbon dioxide produced by cremation. Fungi are used in an alternative technology. Luke Perry, the late actor, was buried in a bespoke mushroom suit developed by a startup named Coeo in 2019. The company claims that its suit, which is built with mushrooms and other microbes, aids decomposition and neutralizes poisons released when a person decays. Most alternative methods of disposing of human bodies after death are not based on new technology. They are simply awaiting societal acceptability. Another example is alkaline hydrolysis, which entails breaking down the body into its chemical components in a pressurized chamber over a six-hour period. It is permitted in several US jurisdictions and produces fewer emissions than more traditional ways. Number 4. Artificial eyes for decades, bionic eyes have been a staple of science fiction, but real-world research is finally catching up with far-sighted novelists. A slew of new technologies are on the way to market that will help people with various types of vision impairment regain their sight. In January 2021, Israeli surgeons inserted the world's first artificial cornea into a 78-year-old man who was born blind on both sides. When his bandages were removed, the patient was able to immediately read and recognize family members. The implant also fuses naturally to human tissue without being rejected by the recipient's body. Similarly, Belgian scientists developed an artificial iris that may be attached to smart contact lenses to correct a variety of eye impairments in 2020. Scientists are even working on wireless brain implants that do not require the use of the eyes. Montash University in Australia is conducting testing for a system in which users wear a pair of glasses equipped with a camera. This directly delivers data to the implant which lies on the surface of the brain and provides the user with a basic sense of sight. Number 3. Airports for drones and flying taxis. Our packed cities desperately need a breather, and relief may come from the air rather than the roads. Plans for a new type of transportation hub, one for delivery drones and electric air taxis, are coming to fruition, with the UK government funding the first urban airport. It is being constructed in Coventry. The hub will serve as a pilot project and perhaps a proof of concept for the company behind it. The goal is to eliminate the need for as many delivery trucks and personnel automobiles on our roads by replacing them with a clean alternative in the shape of a new type of tiny aircraft with designs being developed by Hyundai and Airbus among others. The importance of infrastructure cannot be overstated. Organizations such as Civil Aviation Authority are investigating the creation of air corridors that might connect a city center to a nearby airport or distribution center. Number 2. Energy Storing Bricks Scientists have discovered a technique to store energy in the red bricks used to construct buildings. Researchers led by Washington University in St. Louis, Missouri, have devised a way for converting the inexpensive and widely available building material into smart bricks that can store energy like a battery. The researchers devised a technique for converting red bricks into a form of energy storage device known as supercapacitor. This entailed applying a conducting coating known as PDOT on brick samples, which subsequently seeped through the porous structure of the burned bricks, converting them into energy-storing electrodes. According to the researchers, iron oxide, which is the red pigment in the bricks, aided in the process. Number 1. Sweat-powered smartwatches 
Engineers at the University of Glasgow have created a new form of flexible supercapacitor that stores energy by using sweat instead of the electrolytes used in traditional batteries. It may be completely charged with as little as 20 microliters of fluid and is strong enough to withstand 4000 cycles of the various flexes and bands that it may encounter in usage. The gadget functions by coating polyester cellulose cloth in a thin layer of a polymer that serves as the supercapacitor's electrode. As the fabric absorbs the perspiration of its wearer, the positive and negative ions in the sweat contact with the surface of the polymer, causing an electrochemical reaction that generates energy. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Which of these futuristic gadgets do you think will be useful? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.